Hello everyone, Tanya Curry from the Human Rights Movement. Um, today's video is day five of our, our final day for what is spiritual warfare um, being read from the Bible app. Um, it's the fifth day, five is the number of grace. Okay, and there's about 20 scriptures attached to it. So, again, let me know how you guys are doing in the comment. Um, give me your testimonies or just say hello or whatever's on your mind. I like to know how your day is going. And I will not be reading all 20 scriptures, so relax. <laughs> I will most likely post all of them in the description on um, the video in YouTube. But I will read a couple of video of scriptures, but I'm sure I won't read all 20. But let's begin on our final day, the fifth day of what is spiritual warfare. The devotional is as such, attack back. I like that. Our spiritual enemy is a schemer. The original Greek word for schemes is neoma. N-O-E-M-A. And it means an evil purpose. He's purpose, he proposing pain for our lives and planning for our downfall. He's looking into everything, anything and everything that might set us off on the wrong path. So that we'll ruin the key relationship in our lives and turn our backs on God. That's not going to happen. When we're under spiritual attacks, it is easy for us to focus on the attack and the things going wrong in our lives. But it's in, the, it's in these harsh, overwhelming moments when we must allow the armor to work for us. Instead of just wallowing in our apparent defeat, let's recognize that we, are, we aren't defeated and that we need to attack back. So when your shield is filled with holes and your helmet doesn't fit, your feet are shaky, your breastplate is too heavy, your belt is falling off, and your sword is dull, stand firm on God's truth and attack back. After you submit to our perfect and all-powerful God, use this declaration to resist the devil. My God created the world, set the earth on its foundation, and at his rebuke, the waters flee. I am his child, a coherer of Christ, a citizen of heaven, and my salvation is secure. I am God's workmanship, his very own possession, the temple of his Holy Spirit, and I have been justified by faith. I am not perfect, but I am free from condemnation, for God does not treat us as our sins deserve. When troubles arise, I know that God is already working in them, and for my good, and that will complete the work he started in me. I am more than a conqueror, and I have been given a spiritual a spirit, I have not been given a spirit of fear, but <clears throat> one of power, love, and a sound might. Because greater is he who is in me than he is in the world. Because of this, I may approach God with confidence because I know that I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Your spiritual enemy has no power over you because of the power of God that resides in you. We shouldn't allow him to keep us from living the victorious life we have in Christ. When he makes attempts to remind you of your past failures, remind yourself of what Christ has done for you. <clears throat> Psalms 89, 7 and eight. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. 
Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay, Psalms 104, 5 through 7. Who laid the foundation of the earth that it should not be removed forever? Thou coveredest it with the deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled, and the voice of the thunder, of thy thunder, they hasted away. John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them have given he given power to become the sons of God and them that believe in his name. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 8, 1. There is, there is therefore now... No condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walked not after the flesh, but after the spirit. I'm going to push through. 1 Corinthians three sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Ephesians 2.10 for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus into good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Ephesians 3.20 For our conversation in, is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Second Thessalonians 3.3 3. But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. James 4, 7 and 8. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinner, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. 1 Peter 2, 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. I smiled because I did a poem reading um, with the background of a meditative, like, relaxation um, reading um, of poetry. Uh, one of my mother's poetry, I think it says Peculiar People or Peculiar You is on my Facebook and it's on, I think, this channel. The Human Right Movement. So check it out. Okay, First Peter 5, 9 reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And the last scripture I will be reading, and the very last scripture on this plan, which the, um, that's why they say it's great to always have your paper Bible, because... It's just spinning. It's First John 4. If I don't read it, you can look up First John 4 yourself and read it. And, um, yeah. And I'll also attach it to the description of this video anyway. So let me know how you guys enjoyed, um, these five days of what is spiritual warfare. Because that's a good place to start before we go anywhere else to talk about what is spiritual warfare before we even, you know, so we can have a greater understanding of what it is when we talk about things and say things like, um, 
don't get mad at the person is the enemy using them it's not them it's it's the devil it's you know it's the enemy and it's it's just letting you know that it's a spiritual thing it's not a physical or carnal thing it's a spiritual thing and he needs a body to do his evil works so he uses us the tongue like i said is, we have the power it's a great tool and utensil we have on our body it can speak life or death be careful of what you speak and especially when you're angry and i thank god for bringing me a long ways because i've learned how to control that a lot um as a person who hate bullies and who is a fighter who've always been a fighter it's easy for me to just jump in people's situations and you know in protect mode and that's not always good either but first john 4 reads as follow ye are of god little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and that is it for this bible app plan i will rate it a five what is spiritual warfare and see you next time on the next video Love you. Talk to you later.